Hi everybody, uh, got another card flip for you. Tonight we're going to be doing the Witch's Wisdom Oracle Cards by Barbara Michael John Free and Flavia Kate Peters. It's illustrated by Richard Crooks. Um, one of the quotes from the deck, from the book that goes with the deck is... You are the most powerful, magical tool in your life. It's time to use your wisdom wisely and change your life forevermore. So mote it be. Sween McDonald. That's actually pretty, pretty good words. Whether if you're Wiccan or not, doesn't matter. You don't have to believe in witchcraft. You don't have to be a witch or a warlock or whatever. Um, it's just... This is a really beautiful deck. And as most of you who know me, you know that I really like very color-saturated cards. Um, I love jewel tone colors, you know, the, the deep purples and the blues and the reds and the greens and the golds. And um, they just, something about that color palette has always just really appealed to me. I mean, I like pastels too. Um, as most of you can tell behind me, even though it's kind of blurred out, I'm a blue person. Blue is my color. I have blue everywhere because blue reminds me of the ocean. Blue makes me relax. And I just feel like I'm floating when I'm sitting in a room of blue. So um, it does help. <laughs> Just surround myself with the color of blue. But I have a variation of colors from the deep jewel tone blues to some of the pastel blues to some of the other in the pastel um, realm that kind of goes along with it. Um, but that's decorating, and we're not here to talk about that tonight. We're here to talk about this deck. Um, this is a oracle deck. It, uh, it's designed to speak to us through our witchy, witchy um, ancestors, passing along their knowledge of the craft for our benefit. Um, regardless if you practice Wiccan or pagan religion or don't practice either at all, there is uh, much knowledge that you can gain from this deck. I mean, I'm not Wiccan and I'm, I'm not a pagan. I do practice some Wiccan and pagan beliefs and rituals because they fit in with, with my view of spirituality. Just as I have some Catholic beliefs and some uh, Christian beliefs and Jewish beliefs and Muslim beliefs and Hindu beliefs and Buddhist relief, uh, beliefs, um, I've sort of, over the many years, have just kind of picked and chose those beliefs that fit me and how I feel about life and other people and all that we do. And so um, I really enjoy doing these card, uh, these flip throughs for y'all. I know when I first started, it was really difficult trying to figure out, um, well, am I going to like this deck? You know, 20, 30, 40 bucks for a deck of cards is a lot of money to spend. Um, usually I buy things when they go on a sale. <laughs> you know, you learn to shop all the sales for it. Um, so, but it would help. And there are some decks that I have bought in the last couple of years since I started doing this, that while the deck looked really promising and I thought I would really like it, once I got it, I just didn't resonate with that deck. Um, I'm probably going to have a, a yard sale, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm going to go through some of these decks and pick out the ones that just really don't speak to me. And they may very well speak to someone else. And if I can pass it along to someone who 
and use the cards and and feel um, and feel a connection to the cards, then that's a good thing. And I'd much rather pass them along. You know, I may sell them for a couple of bucks here or there, but nothing expensive. And I, I don't think I'm going to like put them up on eBay or Etsy or anything like that. I'm just going to, you know, I'll just do a, a little thing where I'll list them, say what I've got, say what I'm going to ask for them. And if people are interested, they can contact me. Um, I'll probably do that over the Christmas break. Um, as most of y'all know, I work at a university. So we get two full weeks off for Christmas, which is fantastic. You know, I actually get Christmas off. Um, and so it's kind of cool. I get a chance to do little things that I normally don't really have time to do. And that's because I'm not having to go to work for 10 hours a day, five days a week. So um, that helps a lot. And um, so I'll probably be going through my decks and doing some uh, some clean outs and um, maybe I'll give away a few decks, just have drawings. Um, or, you know, I might just post them and do little videos on each. And then if you're interested in the deck, if you think that that deck would speak to you, you would just contact me and let me know. And, you know, we'll work it out from there. So I'm not going to worry about that part of it. So anyway, we're going to get back here to the Witch's Wisdom Oracle cards. Um, this deck really brings out a lot of the, um, the tools of the witch, um, a lot of the different um, areas that they would delve into with the Wicked Religion. Um, and so um, hopefully you really enjoy this, whether if you're Wiccan or not. Um, we all love a little bit of magic in our lives. And I firmly believe that magic is all around us. We just have to open our eyes and see. So let's switch off cameras here. Da, 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 da. And we will get this show on the road. Okay. All righty. Here we go. Okay. So this is the front of the box. Oh, my nails are horrible. Um, which is Wisdom Oracle Cards. Uh, like I said, by um, Barbara Michael John Free, Flavia, Flavia Kate Peters, and illustrated by Richard Crooks. So you can see just from the box the kind of cards we're going to be getting here. So let's get started. Air, imagination, altar, dedication, ancestors. Remembrance. At the boundaries. Beltane. Fertility. Book of Shadows. Secret. Broomstick. Clearance. Candles, magic. Cauldron, containment. Chalice, fulfillment. Cloak, concealment. Earth, grounding. Familiar guardian. And a familiar does not have to be just a cat. It can be any kind of an animal. Um, I don't even know if it has to be an animal. You might be able to have a familiar in, in, inanimate object, but um, I've always heard it was with an animal. I know a lot of people have familiars that are cats. Some are dogs, some are birds. Um, I met someone who said their familiar was 
a geico a, a dragon you know the little lizards um so i guess whatever speaks to you is what you go with um fire passion hand fasting union hearth homecoming herbal kitchen alchemist hex banishment high priestess or high priest responsibility homeland foundation Embolic awakening. Lady goddess feminine. Letha intensification. Lord God masculine. Lugnas, Lugnas, okay, sorry, I can't pronounce that, prosperity, I thought I had practiced all of these enough, Mabon or Mabin, balance, magic circle, protection, Even if you're not Wiccan or pagan, even if you don't practice magic or witchcraft of any kind, if you're a reader, if you're reading, if you're, um, you know, pulling cards, uh, using a pendulum, multitude of other ways that you can get messages from spirit, it's always important to add protection around you and your space when you're working with the spirit world because you don't want the wrong ones to come through and create havoc. And they will if they think they can. Moon cycles. Ostara incubation. Pentacle respect. Ritual, invocation. Samane, death. Scrying mirror, shadow. Spell, manifestation. Spirit, Initiation. Staff. Stability. Tarot cards. Guidance. Wand. Intention. Watchtower of the East. Spring. Watchtower of the North, Winter. Watchtower of the South, Summer. Watchtower of the West, Autumn. Water, Cleansing. We can read ethos. Which healer? Which is cottage security? 
which is hat, power. Yule, rebirth. All right, and that's it. Um, I know y'all saw me have a little bit of trouble trying to trying to get some of these cards to move along. Um, they're a fairly good. This is the back of the deck. They're a really good, um, as you can see, really good stock. And uh, what's really cool about this deck is it's gilded on the edges. It comes stunned silver. So that's really kind of cool. Um, and, of course, it, it comes with the guidebook, which... Um, you know, gives you explanations for a lot. You can see my highlights are already in there. Um, it even has some uh, uh, some how tos, how best to read them, um, that kind of thing. Um, it's just a really great deck. I really, really do enjoy this deck of cards. So, anyway, so this is it. Which is Wisdom Oracle Cards. And I hope you enjoyed this. You can get this deck on Etsy. You can get it on uh, Amazon. Um, you could probably get a deck on eBay. Um, as well as other places all around that, that sell cards. If you have a local shop in your town. That, um, you know, a spirit shop that... Um, that sells this kind of stuff, there's a good chance they'll have one of these decks there as well. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Everybody have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, depending on whenever you watch this and um, look forward to doing more. We'll talk with you soon. Bye for now.